Hey everyone, this is Mr. Bryce from Susquehanna Valley High School here in Conklin, New York. Here's my email address, rbryce at svsavers.org. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I want to remind you that life has many ways of often testing a person's will, either by having nothing happen at all or by having everything happen at once. Life has many ways of testing a person's will, either by being bored or by having a whole bunch of bad things happen all at once. So hang in there. We're going through the same thing and it gets better. Okay, the previous video, we we're placing a quadratic equation into vertex form. If you didn't watch it, you should watch it before watching this one because it's very similar to completing the square. In other words, solving for the variable. Let's take a look at a question. Before we do the question, write down these steps. Step number one, write down what a, b, c, half of b and half of b squared are. Step number two, add half of b squared to both sides of the equation. It's easier if you add half of b squared between the b and the c on the one side. What am I talking about? Well, here I know that half of b squared is 25. So we want to add half of b squared in between b and c. Here's b, there's c. So we have x squared minus 10x plus 25 plus 15 equals 0 plus 25. Remember, what you do is the one side of the equal sign, you have to do the other side of the equal sign. So that's what we do, add it to both sides of the equation. It's easier if you add half of b in between b and c, right there in green. Step number three, factor the equation. That's why you added half of b squared to both sides, so we can factor it. That factors, this part, factors to be x minus 5 quantity squared plus 15 equals 25. Okay, so far it's the same thing as the vertex form. What's the big deal? For completing the square, this is the big deal. For completing the square, we're solving for x. That means we want to get x by itself. We want to move everything away from x to the other side of the equal sign. So the first thing we do is we move C, that's the C number, that's the 15, subtract it from both sides. So we get X minus five quantity squared equals 10. Now take the square root of both sides to get rid of the square. When we take the square root of this side, we're left with X minus five. I don't want to put it in parentheses. Now, when you take the square root of something, we have to understand that it's the positive or negative value of it. The last thing we have to do is solve for x. That means get x alone, just like we have since third grade. x equals 5 plus or minus the square root of 10. Those are the steps. Now let's try to do a problem all together. Okay, write down this problem. This is what I'm gonna do. A equals one, B equals negative eight, C equals 15, half of B equals negative four, half of B squared equals 16. We add Half of b squared, because this is called completing the square. Completing the square. Make sure that's an x right there. That factors to be x minus 4 from half of b right there. We move that over. Sorry, I have to put the square next to the x minus 4. So we have x minus 4 squared equals 1. Take the square root of both sides. x minus 4 equals plus or minus the square root of 1. Add 4 to both sides. Now, I told you in class that if this becomes 
a perfect square, you can take the square root. Most of the times it should not, but the square root of one is one. So x equals four plus one and x equals four minus one. Four plus one is five, four minus one is three. So those are our two answers. Why didn't we do that for this example? Well, because the square root of 10 is an irrational number. It doesn't stop, it doesn't repeat. So we cannot simplify it any farther. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to do this question. Complete the square. Hit pause now. Go ahead, do complete the square. Solve for x. Okay, let's see if you got the right answer. A is 1. B is negative 12. C is 10. Half of B is negative 6. One half of B squared is 36. We write down the equation, inserting one half of B squared on both sides. We then factor it. The factor is one half of B. I then subtract 10 from both sides to get 26. I take the square root of both sides to get rid of the square. And I solve for x, getting the final answer, x equals 6 plus or minus the square root of 26. Remember, this is Mr. Bryce Susquehan Valley High School here in Conklin, New York. Uh, rbrycesvsavers.org. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Life has many ways of testing a person. Right now, there might be nothing happening at all or everything can happen at once. Think about it like midterms and final exams. All of a sudden, all the midterms and all the finals are at once. Nothing is happening, you're getting up to it. So be prepared, take little bites out of that hamburger instead of everything at once and you won't choke. This is Mr. Bryce saying see you later.